Hello there, Taurus. How are all my Tauruses doing? So today we're going to get a reading for you. So this is a timeless read. Whenever you come across this, it was meant to find you at this time for a reason. Um, right now it is late July, so this can be from late July through late September or so. Um, but whenever you find this, this is for you, Taurus. What do we have going on for my Tauruses? Don't mind me that I'm doing my readings from my car. The seats in the car are just so much more comfortable than any other chair that I have, so... Um, and then being out of my environment tends to help, help me tune in a little bit better. That could be some advice for you for what you have going on. Maybe you've been trapped in the same building for too long and it's time to go outside or just get a change of scenery is what I'm getting for you right off the bat before I even pull any cards. So overall energy right out of the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. You made a choice, didn't you? I think Aquarius got that in their reading, too. You may be connecting with an Aquarius, possibly. Hmm, so we've got the Nine of Swords. Um, so this is almost like the vibe of having, like, a buyer's remorse. Or you made a choice, and now you're questioning yourself wondering if you made the right decision, which is really unusual for a Taurus, because Taurus energy, they know what they want, they make a choice, they stick with it, and they don't question or second-guess themselves very rarely. So this must be something major for you. You're having anxiety over a choice that you made. <clears throat> And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So this to me is verification that whatever choice that you, whatever it is that's the choice that you made, especially if it re it's uh, in regards to career and finances, maybe even your health, this is verification that you made the right choice. The Nine of Pentacles talks all about financial independence um, or uh, being independent with a understanding what abundance is, being grateful for all that you have, and knowing that you are resourceful, you have what you need. Um, maybe you downsized somehow, or maybe you took a pay cut uh, with a career, but it seemed worth it to you, but, you know, you were kind of weighing it out like, oh, why would I do that? You made the right choice, and give it some time, and you'll see why. We've got the Seven of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you had a lot on your plate. Um, you had a lot of responsibilities, and whatever you did, like, maybe it lessened the load a little bit. Um, that also talks about making a choice. The Seven of Cups in the upright talks about multiple choices, having a lot on your plate. So I feel like you've brought some peace to yourself with making this decision, which you're not seeing the immediate results right away. Um, you know, but it's something that's going to benefit you in the end is what I'm gathering. We've got the Six of Swords. Um, was it a move, possibly? This talks about either a trip or a move. Uh, maybe you planned a vacation and you wondered if you overspent, which is kind of the other way of, you know, going with where I was thinking. Or maybe you made a decision to move into a different place, finding another place to live, or it could talk about moving on in general, moving on from a past job that maybe it paid well, but the responsibilities were so heavy that it almost wasn't even worth the stress, you know, and it matters, you know, is it closer to home and saving you on gas? Is it making it so you're paying less for therapy because the place may makes your head want to explode. I don't really know what it is, but that's what I'm gathering. Something along those lines. Like, something wasn't worth the stress. And uh, King of Cups in reverse, not emotionally fulfilling to you. Um, Taurus doesn't usually mind that much about being emotionally fulfilled when it comes to a job. They're like, well, it's a job. This is what I'm being paid to do. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And that's that. But this was to the point where it just, it doesn't sit well with you and your, more, your standard for morals. 
Um, maybe you felt that the place that you were working didn't deliver compassion in the way that they should. Like if you're in healthcare, maybe you were seeing that patients weren't being treated correctly. Um, and that the integrity was an issue and you don't want to work for a place that, you know, you're representing the place that you work and it doesn't align with your, the amount of integrity that you have. And we have the Fool card. So with that Six of Swords that you got before, combined with the Fool card, that talks all about diving headfirst into new beginnings. I feel like either you moved, there's something new going on in your life. Either you moved, or maybe you changed jobs. There's something that's a major change that you recently did, or that's right on the horizon for you. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, so this has been a long time coming, Taurus, hasn't it? It feels like it's taken you a fucking eternity to get here, doesn't it? And now you're finally here, and now you're getting that funky feeling about buyer's remorse, or almost like a sense of regret because you're having anxiety of not knowing if you made the right choice. You know, I'm not saying any zodiac sign is better than the next. They all have their gifts. But one thing I can tell you that Taurus energy is very good at is being very confident in the decisions that they make. They're very practical. They're logical with a little bit of touch of luxury because it is ruled by Venus. So you got to have the, you know, you make a secure home for yourself because you want the comfort items. Being financially secure is what feels like freedom to you because it makes you feel stable and it gives you comfort to have your shit together as far as money goes. Um, so this is a really big deal for you, Taurus. We've got the Page of Wands diving right into those new beginnings with passion and motivation. You're really excited about this, or you were. Now you're anxious, but once the dust settles and you see all the puzzle pieces fit together, you're going to get that passion back. We've got the Three of Cups in the reverse. Be really careful at this time not to overspend and give in to, um, you know, oh, I'm in the middle of moving. Sometimes you don't realize how much you're spending because it's convenient. Nobody wants to cook dinner when they're in the middle of a move or like a, like a change with a stressful situation. Taurus, I know you. <laughs> I'm a Pisces. I do the, I do the same thing. I could be wrong, you know, everybody's a little different, but Tauruses are big on comfort when it comes to food. Food is a huge comfort, especially for Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, I'd say pretty much anybody. But us Tauruses and Pisces, I'm telling you, we're very prone to being hangry. Don't get in between us and our food, bro, like, <laughs> don't, you don't want to get your ass handed to you. Get out of the way of my cheeseburger. So this might be warning you to just be careful, watch your health, be careful about overeating, um, keep some protein around that's real convenient, um, you know, if there's a healthy protein powder that you like or something healthy that's got a lot of protein, like me, I keep cashews in the car. Is it maybe dumb because squirrels might want to break into my car because of it? Possibly. But do what you got to do to keep yourself comfortable and keep real easy, quick snacks around, especially a lot of protein. Make sure you're getting your protein. Tauruses usually have no problem with that, though. <laughs> All right, is there anything else, any other messages for my Tauruses? What else do we have for Taurus that they need to know? Any advice? And what's the outcome? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, there's somebody that's whiny and entitled in your life that might throw a fit because they don't get their way and it might be distracting you from doing what you gotta do. Don't be afraid to put them in their place. <laughs> I don't think you're afraid at all. Um, they may possibly be a fire sign. They might have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius placements. Um... Then, oh, we've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse, the release of oppression. Exactly. This major change that you made, 
it's it feels like you're busting out of like feeling oppressed like you felt like you were being held prisoner or hostage in whatever job or living situation you were in and you're busting out of that and breaking free Sorry about that, Taurus. I uh, had to pause the video for a moment. Uh, minor technical difficulty. Anyway, so with that Ten of Wands in the reverse, uh, if you were wondering if you made the right choice and you're having some anxiety about it, you definitely did. Um, there's hope on the horizon and you feel like you're breaking free. You might not feel it immediately, but once the dust settles, I promise you, things are looking good for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your summer. Thank you.